school football season is fast approaching. It's time for our first pigskin preview of the year, and we're going to go to Ogallala for this one, as our Marko Yerkovich has the story. Ogallala finished their season 4-5 and five last year, but there's plenty of reason for optimism in the program. The team is returning an experienced group of seniors at many positions. The team also has a strong culture and a three-word motto they follow closely. We have three words that are big in our culture, our tough, love, compete. So we want people who are tough, can fight, people who love each other. I mean, obviously not just throwing around love, but love you can see in the actions. And then people who compete, wanting to win, and that's huge in our culture. Ogallala does have a tough schedule ahead of them, including non-district games against Gothenburg, Broken Bow, and Kozad. And, of course, in district play, their rival McCook is a tough out after a 10-win season last year. We don't play anybody on our schedule that we can take lightly for a second. Every opponent that we play, um, it takes our best effort to be competitive. Seventh year head coach Brent Bauer does like the direction his program is headed after this summer. We've had a really good summer. We've made a lot of changes from what we've done in the past and we really like it. Um, we really loaded up some stuff in July, had some good camps. I felt we had a really good conditioning week, but we're really happy with, with how our summer's gone. Our kids did some really good things in the weight room this summer, so it all equates to some excitement going into the fall. Getting the team organized and in the right mindset for the season can be a challenge, but it's certainly one this team has risen to meet. Going into the year, I thought we'd it'd take a few weeks maybe to get all the energy, all the confidence out of everyone, but I say a lot of people are stepping up. Just a lot of energy this year. Ogallala operates offensively in a power spread concept, looking to exploit teams with their speed and quick strike attack. We're pretty athletic. I think we've got some good things going, um, but when you're athletic, and maybe not as, as, as thick and big as everybody, the athleticism's got to be on display every single play. Ogallala will still rely on the power run game with multiple backs, but they also have a lot of flexibility when it comes to their quarterback play. Coach Bauer says his four quarterback room is the best he's ever had in his coaching career. We've got three guys that, that could find themselves taking some Friday night snaps. Um, two guys will take the brunt of them. And so uh, we love what they do. They're all kind of different. The senior class for Ogallala understands that this season is their last chance to be on the field representing their school. This is your last shot. This is the last dance. You got to give it everything you got, as corny as it sounds. Ogallala are ready for their season, which kicks off against Gothenburg in a rivalry game for the Platte River Trophy, which Gothenburg currently holds. We're ready for Gothenburg. We want to keep that trophy this year, so we're really re getting ready for week one. So there's lots of optimism from this Ogallala program coming into this upcoming football season as they follow their three-word motto, love, compete, and toughness. Reporting from Ogallala, Marko Yerkovich, KNOP Sports. And Ogallala kicks off their season on August 25th on the road against Gothenburg as those teams battle for the Platte River Trophy. We'll have coverage of that game and many more as high school football season gets underway. And Kent, I cannot oh, wait. Man.